Anyway, that's enough of that. Welcome, wherever you are in the world. Mr. C in the house again. Different surrounds this time. I've been banished to the upstairs, so... Uh, Yes, that is the wardrobe behind me, and this is the chest of drawers. Yeah, full of socks, underwear. Ooh, and other delights. Not really. It's full of curtain rings and there. Funny enough, a twenty seventeen Glenmurray Distillery Spirit of Space Eyed wig that my wife wore. Uh, yeah, that's about it, really. But yeah, being banished upstairs. If you do hear any noises, it's either the Raj dog next door barking, or my wife downstairs singing while she's doing the ironing. But yeah, my last vlog, I think, the last time, was from the Lost Distillery Company. And today I'm bringing you another in their series. This time it is Lost It. No trains, but we do have buses, by the way. Yeah. I'm on a bit of a road where we are frequented by buses every 20 minutes. So you'll know if there's another one goes by, I've spent too long. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing lots of it. It's what I would call an Islay malt, which absolutely winds up the maltman. Hang fire. Does that mean peated? Yeah, it does. It means peated. Now this is, I've taken a picture of this and I'll include a picture somewhere either here, here or here of uh, the bottling. Now as I said this was bought in a pack of six, I'll just nip off camera, it came in that packaging there, I've got another four down there that we can go through and don't worry we're not doing the Glen Murray one as yet, hopefully sometime in May I'll put together a little bit of a, a Glen Murray feature because I'm popping up there in well, a couple of weeks time actually for the Spirit of Space Side Festival so if you're up there and you do spot me stop say hello I don't bite the wife might I don't bite but anyway lost it it was uh, in production for a fairly short time I believe 1816 to 1867 I think if I can correct yeah. Sorry, 1817, it says on here, to 1867. It's an Islay malt. I'll pronounce it right this time. We've done enough winding up for the moment. Now, yes, it is supposed to be peated. It's supposed to replicate what the whiskies would have tasted like in yesteryear before the distilleries actually closed. So, without further ado, we'll go into the colour. These are all, by the way, unchill filtered, natural colour. I've been doing a bit of research on them. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they're unchill filled and natural colour. It says so on the net. Now, it's a very light straw colour for a start. Uh, in fact, it's a lovely golden colour. I'll just hold it up to that bright light in there. Yeah, I've had to put a big halogen spotlight up there just to give a bit of backlighting onto me. Because although we've got a bit of daylight coming in the room, it does make it a bit dark. So. Without further ado, yeah, you've definitely got the peat smoke there. You've got a bit of, as I would uh, say, a bit of rust. You, you, you can definitely tell. But it hasn't got that TCP medicinal type of smell to it, which, to be honest, actually puts me off a lot of the... the Isle and uh, Island malts, it's just not my type of thing. Although there are one or two that Mike will agree. I have tried and I have got away with some just no, just uh, kryptonite to me. But anyway, what do I get in the nose? Oh, yeah. Now then, this is at, by the way, it's a 43% volume, so it's not bad. So it's not too aggressive. If it was a bit higher, it might be a bit more aggressive. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. 
yeah it's certainly got that dark oak so you've got that charred oak smell coming to it you've got that earthy smell which is the peat coming through possibly a little bit of milk chocolate whichever milk chocolate you prefer I prefer Galaxy it's not as I said, too overly aggressive too peated too smoky it's a nice subtle yeah and now it's settling down in the glass I've had it in there for a couple of minutes uh, prior to starting this and by the way that music that you heard was Highland Cathedral pipes and drums the Scots Guards and it was actually created by a German it's not a Scottish piece of music it was meant to replace gone back to the early 1900s it was going to be used in place of from what I recollect a tune to bring out the Scots team to an Olympics it was never used though but it's since been adopted by the good people of Scotland and quite rightly so because it's a cracking piece of music but anyway back to whiskey I do leather on so I thought we've done the sniff let's go on to the palette cigar smoke definitely cigar there's something else there as well now if you do look watch me going down there Commonwealth Games are on so I'm watching a bit of the Commonwealth Games we can multitask as men yes it's not just you women slightly buttery smell to it as well a bit of a salty tang coming off off the taste let's see if I can get the the butteriness in the taste as well slightly herby kind of fresh herb so if I'm going to go for fresh herb I'd go bit of basil nothing too overly rated bit of uh, slight bit of cardamom in there but yeah and I tell you something it's got quite a good finish to it quite quite a bit of tannin to it as well it's certainly dried the outside of my lips up and you can feel a tannin type coating on your teeth now that was it straight because it's only 43 percent I'm just gonna add a teeny touch of water a soup's on as some people say one two three four four tiny drops a bit of water's calmed it right down opened it up in the nose a bit more floral is that the right thing to say for an eyelid malt it's really gone creamy Ooh. Oh. I still get that oaky smell but it's not as overpowering it's not as strong it's a bit more subtle a bit more laid back relaxed a bit like myself tonight today this morning this evening this afternoon or wherever you're watching mm, yeah buttered toast you know, just when you get that dark brown toast, not cremated, not black, but that nice golden white toast when you've toasted it, hot, warm butter. Yeah. So, we'll go for a second taste.
opened it a little bit more still got that chocolate taste there still got that herby taste but it, it, it's settled right down still got a little bit of cardamom uh, I wouldn't say the scar tastes there but you, you've still got that smoky kind of taste in your mouth you know, that kind of subtle smoke taste you get with a nice light bit of smoked salmon and believe it or not the finish is still quite lingering it's still dry it's still not as dry there's the crazy dog from next door I don't know what else think think about me calling his wife a crazy dog but you know no, only joking. Yes, they have a they have a four legged canine next door. There's something there I'm not getting. So I'm just gonna have another vanilla, vanilla, definitely vanilla. That's quite palatable, that actually. And I said, I went for these before buying big bottles. I didn't want to buy big bottles and think, oh, that's crap, rancid. And ended chucking it down the sink like I did a couple of months ago with the Glen Turret. Yeah, worst money I've ever spent. Most expensive drain cleaner ever. But never mind, this won't be going down. And yeah, I would buy a large bottle of this, I think. What I'll do, what's left in these, I'll save for the Maltman. He can try them and see what he thinks of it. But yeah, definitely that hot buttered toast. Definitely a bit of green herb. I'm, I'm getting basil, getting a bit of coriander. The cigar smoke kind of on the mouth in the taste has kind of subsided ever so slightly with the addition of a bit of water. And that's it. On the nose, you're still getting that milk chocolate. Now, I've just put it up to my nose again there, and I've got coffee. You know, that type you put in a pot, plunge down. That type of cafetiere coffee. Too posh for me, that. Yeah, not wrong with a good old uh, espresso out your machine. Yep, damn fine drop of whiskey that. Well done to those people up there in Dumfrieshire. Cracking drum that. That's it. If you can find it, it's mid price, it's between 48 and 56 pounds. I've seen it for in various places. I got the six pack of Amazon, the, the, uh, this size bottle, miniatures. No, they were about 32 pounds for the six pack. Yes. It's quite an expensive outlay for six bottles, but it lets you try them before you buy them because you don't want to get a big bottle and think that and do as I did with the Glen Turret. But anyway, there we go. Lossed Distillery, an Islay malt, but this is a blended malt to depict what these used to taste like in yesteryear. Crucial drink selling. It can be found on... Uh, Masters of Malt, it can also be found on Amazon, so if you pop over there, have a look, see what you think. If you've tried this, leave a comment below. If you do like our videos and you want to be kept up to date, but you haven't subscribed yet, little bell icon to the right hand side of your screen, click that, and uh, without further ado, you'll get the best whiskey reviews, honest whiskey reviews, from, I wouldn't say professional people, but enthusiastic people who enjoy a drop of whiskey. And we'll tell you our thoughts on it. Everybody's thoughts are different. So whatever our thoughts are, may not necessarily be yours. But anyway, without further ado, I bid you farewell. A Vida Zen, wherever you are in the world. Ciao. And uh, we'll see you again with another whiskey review very shortly. Mr T signing out. Over to the Maltman. Please click subscribe. It really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.